hello and a very warm welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, when it comes to buying real estate in Italy, the region of Basilicata is possibly the least popular area of Italy to buy property. Basilicata only has around 575,000 inhabitants. It borders Campania, Puglia and Calabria. And it's actually a very mountainous area of Italy. Now, before I give you my top three places to buy property in Basilicata, I want to briefly discuss places that didn't quite make it. Now, for those of you who know Basilicata, it may come as a surprise that I have excluded Matera and Maratea from the top three. I excluded Matera simply because, although it is famous for its caves, is a nice enough city and has decent enough facilities, with prices approaching 2,000 euros per square meter on average, I felt it was just that bit too expensive. Now, Maratea, known as the Pearl of the Tyrrhenian, is a wonderful small town of 5,000 residents with the famous statue of Christ the Redeemer, 44 churches, and some lovely, lovely beaches. But real estate prices on average are around 1,700 euros per square meter. And you actually have Scalea, another lovely coastal town, only about 30 kilometers away, where property prices are about half of those of Maratea. So that's why I excluded Maratea from the top three. I also excluded a number of small villages, some beautiful small villages, which you have in Basilicata with very cheap prices. But I just felt they were just that bit too remote and lacked basic facilities. Anyway, here are my top three places to buy property in the region of Basilicata. And coming in at number three is the city of Potenza. Now, with a population of 67,000, Potenza has the distinction of being the highest regional capital of Italy at 819 metres or 2,687 feet. Now, for a regional capital, property prices are quite reasonable at an average of around 1,300 euros per square metre on average. Now, the city, considering it is in Basilicata, is fairly well connected. It's on the main railway line from Salerno to Taranto, and there are regular intercity bus services as well. The city is lovely enough, with a beautiful cathedral and also some nice churches as well. There are hospitals here and in the province, and one that particularly comes to mind is the San Carlo Hospital. The city centre is full of winding, cobbled, stone-paved streets with lots of cafes and restaurants, and it does get quite active at night and at weekends. And Potenza has a beautiful theatre and a lovely city park called Parco di Monte Reale. And as the city centre is at the top of a steep hill, there's an escalator, there's a public escalator network, which is the largest in Europe. However, there are some downsides here as well. The nearest airports are Bari and Napoli airports, which are some distance away at around 100 kilometers and 130 kilometers, 30 kilometers respectively. And although better than other places in Basilicata, the train system is still quite limited. And for we have to also see that the weather here in winter is quite cold and it is an earthquake region and there was one as recently as 1980. So please be aware of that if you decide to buy in Potenza. Now coming in at number two is Pisticci. With a population of around 17,000 and around 50 kilometers from Matera, Pisticci is a lovely sunny town with lots of services, including its own hospital. The town is the fourth most populous in the region of Basilicata, and it is known for being the production site of Amaro Lucano, a famous Italian liqueur. The town is also known for its white houses. And in the Torre Vecchia quarter, you have the wonderful St. Peter and Paul's Church. In the town, you also have the ruins of a tower and a castle built by the Normans. And around the town, which has an elevation of 365 metres, you have olive groves, canyons, white dunes, 
as well as some lovely green spaces. And let's not forget that the coast is only 20 kilometers away with Pistici Marina on the Ionian seafront. Now, in the town itself, the average price of a property is around 1,200 euros per square meter, which is not bad for such a lovely town. Down by the marina, they're more expensive at around 1,400 to 1,500 euros per square meter plus on average. Now, although these prices are not incredibly cheap, they're not very expensive either. But of course, as with many other places in Basilicata, transportation is an issue, with the nearest airport, Bari, being over 80 kilometers away. Also, the, the railway service is very limited, so this will definitely not be an easy place to get to by public transport. I think you're going to need a car here. Anyway, coming in at number one is Melfi. Now, with a population of around 17,500, Melfi is a lovely town situated halfway between Naples and Bari. It is rich in history and has many attractions, including an imposing castle, a magnificent cathedral, some very nice buildings, and a number of noteworthy churches. The town has become an important industrial center and is home to a large number of businesses, including Fiat and Barilla. Facilities-wise, you have a hospital, plenty of eateries, and a train station, although, in all honesty, the number of trains coming here is very limited. Melfi even has its own football team, which I think plays in the non-league sector of Italian football, but please correct me if I'm wrong. And I think, best of all, property prices are quite cheap here, at an average of around €1,000 per square metre, which is about half of those of Matera. So this do really does put Melfi in a good light. One thing I should add is that Melfi does have an important archaeological museum with artifacts from the surrounding areas. Now we have to say though, unfortunately, Melfi does suffer from earthquakes like Potenza and there was a significant one here in 1930 as there was a significant one in Potenza in 1980. But overall, Melfi is a lovely town and um, I think Fiat building a factory here has definitely been a game changer. Now, before I finish, I just want to say um, Basilicata is a relatively unknown region of Italy. Even um, many Italians don't know this region very well. So it's considered to a friendly region and it doesn't have too many tourists. So this may really be an advantage for people who want to buy property here. But you also have to bear in mind that transport facilities are not great in Basilicata and it does get quite cold here. In many parts of Basilicata there is a proper winter so if you don't like winter this is not the place to buy. Um, and also um, um, as I've mentioned earthquakes can be an issue here. So please if you do decide to buy a property make sure you buy a property which is more or less earthquake proof or uh, has as least possible uh, probability of getting damage from an earthquake. Very, very, very important. Anyway, would I buy here? I must admit, I personally would not buy here simply because I, I actually like um, places where the winters are a little bit milder. Anyway, I'd love to know your thoughts. Please do comment below. And um, thanks ever so much for watching, and I shall see you soon on the next video.